All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today we have a special, special, special returning guest, <laughs> Mr. Gino Iannucci. Yes. Whoa, bro. How are you, man? I'm doing well. Thank you. It's been a long time. I miss you. You're looking good, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I was actually Three or four years now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Dude. I remember you being the first episode for 2017. I, I just remember Are that. It? That's why I remember that very specifically. Because I was someone asked me, "Who do you want the most in the show?" I was like, "Gino," and it'd be the best way to start it off the year. And that's what happened. There we go. And, awesome. and you came with Guy, which was a amazing thing nice too. Treat. Yeah. yeah, that was tight. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. like four years ago. Yeah. Jesus. And Kelly was carving yeah. a potato during your episode, <laughs> too. That's right. That's right. Trying to make a potato wheel, right? Yeah. 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 Good times. Yeah. Good times. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Many, many, many guests since then. Huh? Bro, 187. That's where we, that's where we yeah. stopped when the whole thing started happening. Damn, a lot of stories. A lot of, a lot of insight. A lot of people. Hey, so what, what, what's been going on, Gino? Are you, uh, are you on the East Coast? Are you on the West Coast? Where are you right now? I'm on the East Coast, yeah. I'm in Manhattan right now. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. I've been in Manhattan for a while. Nice. And, uh, away, ask me whatever. And what is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, because I think the last time you were, I mean, you were um, in Long Island before. Yeah. I've been living in the city now for maybe like two years. How's that going? It's going great. I love it. Uh, it was it was a little nerve wracking at first moving to, to Manhattan. Yeah, I've never lived in a city. I've always been in the suburbs or you know the West Coast, mm -hmm. LA, or down south of Huntington Beach. But uh, but yeah, every time I was back on the East Coast, I was in Long Island. So first time in the city is awesome. Uh, like I said, I was nervous just because I'm so used to driving and I don't drive anymore. I don't even have a car in the city. So, um, but it's great. You know, I mean. Uh, I'm downtown. Um, it was kind of crazy during the pandemic, of course. I um, bet. I don't know. You, you're in a small apartment, and you know, at first you didn't know what to do, whether you should be outside or not, and it was just a weird time. So, but that's kind of you know things have gotten a little bit better, and um, for sure, things being in the city, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So. It's kind of like for us. It's like we're by the beach over here, and it's almost like moving from the beach to like like. To the valley. The, the, or Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. You know, Hollywood, like Hollywood, yeah. like busy, you know, and it's just like that, that drastic change yeah. could just be yeah. like, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Right. You know? Yeah. But it sounds like you're adjusting just fine, bro. Having a ball out there. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It's like, I go back to Long Island now and it's, I'm kind of like walking through the, the old neighborhood and I'm like, damn, I don't even think I could live here anymore or in the summer. It's, it seems so... It's nice to have that peace and quiet, but it's like really dead. It's nice to be able to step outside and things are just constantly going on, yeah. you know? That's uh, true. You can sure. take a walk and you're like stimulated, you know? For sure. Yeah. yeah it's, cool. it's cool. And you go yeah. go down to a bodega, probably open late, like in the suburbs, you're not really like, you're you're kind yeah. of, when the sun goes down, you're, you're done, you know? Don't get it twisted. The sun goes down out here and I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the sun goes down and, you know, I'm ready to pop in the movie and call it a night at like 8 o'clock. So, you know. Well, you're an early riser. But, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you you get up early, dude. I mean, even... I, was, I have been for a long time, yeah. Yeah. I mean, remember when we were in yeah. Milan, uh, staying with Federico? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we yeah. were on completely different schedules. I mean, you would wake up, go skate with and film with feds. And you guys would come back, and I'd just be waking up, getting my day started. I think we talked about this last time I was on the show. Yeah. I know. We never even yeah. got to skate together. No, just, yeah. <laughs> uh, How early are you waking up, though? For a while, it was kind of exaggerated early. I was getting up, like, 5 in the morning for forever. And uh, I would start my day. Like, I would go to the gym and do some cardio at, like, 5.30. I'd be knocking on the door at fucking, you know, whatever gym I was uh, affiliated with at the time. It was kind of crazy thinking back to that, but now I'm like at a normal seven o'clock, seven thirty, getting out of bed. That's kind decent. Of yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's decent. For a while, I was definitely like, you know, it was complete. It was pitch black out. I was wanting to get my coffee before start. You know, it was a little bit exact. But you get a full day though, which is pretty amazing. You know, it's oh not like you you can get a yeah. lot done in that day. You know what I mean? Yep. It was weird. I, for a while, I got into this routine of going to the gym first. 
going home, I probably I might even like take a nap for like a half an hour, and then I I might even get on the tennis court with a friend and just hit around for a while, and then I go skate. So before like one o'clock, I got three things banged out. Damn, damn, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. and it was kind of uh, looking back, is you know, I can't believe I did that for so long, like a few years, mm. and uh, now I'm just like happy to do one of those. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I yeah. personally want to give you a big congratulations, man, because Poets is killing yeah. it, dude. So sick. You dude. guys, that, because you, you've you always had the, sh- you had the shop. I think, did the shop close down at one point? I think you guys like, you know, yeah, then, and then re reopened it. And now you guys are doing like such amazing things. You just did something with JSP. Mm-hmm. Those, uh, yeah. At Wallaby? The, the Wallaby hmm. shoe? The shop was, uh, initially opened in around 2003. Yeah. And then it was only for a few years. And, uh, you know, um, I closed it up. And then we brought it back around 2008 uh, mm-hmm. for another couple of years. And then uh, that fizzled again. Just wasn't something I wanted to do. And then, yeah, we uh, I decided to bring it back as a brand. And it's been now, uh, we just turned three on uh, March 1st. Nice. So three years, and um, I don't know, man. Yeah, things are pretty. It's been an it's been an experience. It's been such a interesting learning experience, and I, you know, I, sometimes fun, sometimes not. But it's, oh god, trust me. <laughs> yeah, I, try. Uh, I think that's just the ups and downs of yeah. having any brand, bro. Oof. That's yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Some days I don't even want to like come in here. You know, it's like in other days, I'm like, I'm, uh, there's a pep in my step and I'm ready to go, you Mm -hmm, know? mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know what? Third time might be a charm because now I think, I feel like you guys have really kind of turned that, the angle of like, okay, it's, it's not a shot. Like you're, you're doing much more than just like having a shop. You're doing all these like collabs and all this rad stuff, you know, yeah. which is really cool, yeah. man. I just yeah. saw the video or we reviewed the video about Yage the other day. That was an awesome video. So too. sick. Yeah. How did, how did you how did you reach out to Yage? Is that someone you just knew already and like wanted to partner with the squad or how did that come about? I didn't know him, you know, uh, besides one girl in chocolate trip that we took a long time ago while filming for uh it must have been for pretty sweet. Yeah, maybe, pretty sweet. Maybe. Possibly. Um, it seems like it was before that. Maybe, but yeah. okay. either way, he was, I think he was in the mix. Maybe uh, he was talking about him getting on chocolate, possibly. So he went to Atlanta with us, and uh, I met him at the airport. And uh, it's the first time I met him and, and you know, knew, uh, knew about him. So, but I hadn't seen him since then. And then in the meantime, being that I was on, I was on social media, I got to see like his skating here and there. And every time I see something, I was really impressed. And just, he had this, this thing that kind of stood out from, you know, a lot of other things I was seeing in skateboarding and, uh, I really dug it. And then, you know, one thing led to another, we got in touch. And then, uh, and I was pleasantly surprised when I was told that he was, when he told me that he was, you know, interested in doing something with poets and, um, so from, you know, from that moment on, I was like, anything you need, let's do something. And, you know, we put out this part recently and, and the feedback's been great. Oh and, my God. Uh, like, so yeah, grateful to have someone, someone like that. Dude, he's, and he's such a great yeah. kid too. And like you said, like there's something yeah. special about his skating. He's, uh, it's just different, you know, mm-hmm. and he just rips. Yeah. And, um, man, uh, yeah, we were psyched seeing that. You know, the poets thing. Yeah, it's good to see like actual street New York footage, you know? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Him skating at yeah. night and everything like that. Skating like was it three manholes in a row with kick ups those things. Like it's just sick to see yeah. New York New yeah. York footage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he can skate. He can definitely skate. He's you know. Um, but he just has his own little thing going on. You can see that. Like yeah. and just everything, the way he dresses, the way he skates, the pop, the tricks, the music, everything. So, so is he on the team, dude, or you just did a little thing with them, or what's? Uh, are you guys gonna build the team, or what? Uh, are you just taking I it? You know, I I can't really call it right now okay. what's gonna go on, but um, I'd like to just think for now. You know, he's definitely a part of the family, and yeah. uh, I'll treat him like that, like uh, as a, as a part of the team, if you want to call it that. Sure. He's repping poets, and I'm repping Yaja. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and, and if if more come my way, like if you want to say organically or uh, I'm all for it. I mean, for sure. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. So, uh, 
Dude, I think that's, um, uh, you know that's a whole a whole other I don't know step forward with this whole with this whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, one step yeah. at a time, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean. So totally, um, want to do it right, do it slow, do it like you know yeah. naturally, and. Uh, and that's kind of what we've done over here, right? We've never taken huge steps and, and big risks and we, yeah. we've just done it slowly, organically. Everything's just kind of worked out in our favor, you know? Yeah. So I like that style. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cause then it's, a, it's no stress either. You know what I mean? I mean, there's stress of course, but. And the extra layer of stress. The that's layers. Un- that's unnecessary for sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. I want to talk about the wallabies really quickly because, um, what was the, now I'm not a big shoe guy. I don't know the ins and outs, but we had Jimmy Gorecki on the show and he was explaining it a little bit. Um, it's the original Wallaby or what was it? What, what was the story behind that? The Wallaby came out of the sixties and, um, and Clark's owned had more barns. Mm. I think it was like, that's what it was. 50s, 60s. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and that during that time they came out with the Wallaby. So Padmore Barnes was associated with Clark's with the birth of the Wallaby. And then Clark's broke out. And this is all something that I didn't know about before Jimmy approached me with mm. doing something with Padmore. Mm. You know, it was interesting because I've, always, I've been a Clark's fan ever since Wu-Tang and all that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, that was my introduction. To, and actually, my introduction to Clark's was, like, the father and son store in the mall when I was young and seeing Wallabies and, and laughing at them because they looked kind of funny. <laughs> but when I, was, when I was young, walking into the shoe stores. But then, like, with this whole 90s, you know, resurgence of the wallaby. Like it was more appealing, right. of course, as I got older. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then, yeah, then Jimmy approached me with the idea of doing a shoe for Padmore, and I was like, Padmore, okay, what's up with Padmore? I had, he had to school me about, like about the company and what they're about, where they're from, and uh, and their association with Clark. So it was all a learning lesson to me too. Gotcha. So then, long story short, like uh, another friend of mine, you know, he had a shoe company, and he, I remember, made a shoe that was basically. Uh, I don't, I'll use bite in like, you know, a good, in a, in a good sense. Sure. But uh, one of the Padmore Barn shoes that I just realized now, you know, he was up on the brand uh, a while back. So. Well, I mean, to the, the normal person, like I, I, I had no more, no idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you just see the yeah. Wallaby, like yeah. that's it, right? Yeah. So. I mean, I used to think it was just Clark's. Clark's made, you know, the Wallaby shoe and they were made in, they apparently used to be made in Ireland, but mm. Um, the ties to Padmore and Barnes was an interesting, you know, come up thanks to Jimmy. How did you get in contact with Jimmy? Because it's a pretty rad collaboration you guys have been doing. It was through my friend Antonio. Um, my friend Antonio was over at 18 East. And, uh, you know, I've been friends with him for a few years. And uh, he's, you know, uh, pretty close to Jimmy, I think. And I've known of Jimmy, you know, throughout the years from skateboarding. And we crossed paths back in the day, which, were, you know, like we all have. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, it was Antonio that linked us, you know, just uh, asked me if I would, you know, would be interested in doing something with, with Jimmy and, uh, you know, standard issue. And then uh, I just reached out to him. And then from then on, we just like, boom, we did a, a quick like pant. And then uh, since then, it's been, I think, three and uh, two pairs of the shoes now. And, you know, hopefully more to come. He's so into the history and what things mean and it's got to be special and yeah. everything. And you're kind of the same way, like you're super particular and you know what I mean? I almost feel like that's a, yeah. such a great marriage right there. Like you guys yeah. aren't going to come out with some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you definitely break it down. You know, he has, uh, like I said, all the knowledge of all, you know, everything he puts his hands in, he has full knowledge and, and break it down a hundred percent. And uh, sure. I'll know what I like. I'll know what color I like, what materials I, I know. The, the final product, how I want it to look, but like he knows the ins and outs, and and you know, and explain it like very precisely and clearly. And you got to man. There's so many people nowadays that just do collabs just to do it, and they just throw some shit together, throw a logo on it, and boom, there's their collab. You know what I mean? Like True. it doesn't mean yeah. anything besides yeah, somebody's brand on there. Yeah. You know, it's cool to have some yeah. type of yeah, well thought out plan of what you want to do yeah uh, and that's been the the fun thing about doing this doing poets now is, is trying to come up with things that you feel and then when you feel it it, it doesn't matter if it you know you assume uh, you don't really care about how it's going to be received yeah. sort of you know there's times where i'll put something out or i'll like make some video or some photos and and i'll be kind of on the fence like, you know a little bit 
concerned if it's going to get received well. And, right. and then there's times that I just like it so much and it's, yeah, you know how it goes. Like, you, when you like something and you just don't give a shit. And, yeah. Of course. Even with, like, the, uh, the, the little... The that's little hammer thing you did, not to cut you off, even with the little hammer oh, thing you did man. just recently, like that yeah. was so thought out to the point where if you if you got it, you got it. Right. And then I didn't get it right yeah. away, but then I was like, this dude just made the fucking hammer from Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like that? That's that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so so when you think about it like that, I think it's it's more of the journey that you're kind of creating for the the potential buyer. Yeah. To come along. Like when I had the original shop, poets. Uh, I just, you know, when it came to having something to hang the boards on or hang the hang the wheels on the trucks on, I I wanted to do something a little different. So I, uh, there was a, a, a friend now back then I wasn't as close to, but it was he was one of the locals from well, he was from Long Island, and he would come to the shop, and uh, I found out that he was into woodworking, and and um, we started talking, and then he just came up with an idea to uh, make these board hangers, and um, so he made a bunch of them. Uh, the same ones that I made for poets recently that mm. I basically brought it back. So he made a few things, some things to hang on the wall. Like, he, you know, everything was, was um, handmade and, and really beautiful. And, um, yeah, so I reached out to him recently, I don't know, maybe last year or so, and talked about bringing back these board hangers and offering them to poets. And uh, so we, we, you know, we did that. And in the meantime, with the scraps of wood that he was, using to build the hangers he made this little hammer and it was like a, a play on you know i guess play school and like little because he has children too he has like three kids i think oh, okay. and um so he made the hammer so it wasn't initially for like to you know uh, to replicate the shawshank redemption hammer mm -hmm. but um it was just like something he made and he was like listen i made these little hammers and they're from the scraps from the board the board hangers that we've been working on like, I don't know what to do with them, but if you want to do something to offer them to poets, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, let's stamp them up. And then, <laughs> yeah. be, you know, all the guys out there, the girls that have kids, you know, if they get it, they don't. And then when doing the video to promote the hammer, then that's when the Shawshank thing came uh, in. And, you know, obviously watching the movie a million times, you notice that hammer, and you're yeah, like, yeah. okay, this is exactly. So we just worked the video and the concept of, you know, the movie into that. And so... That is the funnest part of doing this shit. Yeah. To me, you know, just combining shit and like meaning and mm -hmm. reference and just inspiration. It's, it's really fun. So sick. So yeah, but me, but me that, not that knowing that the background yeah. too, it's kind of dope to like now know like that's that's where it came from. You know what I mean? And right. that's, yeah. I don't know. There's, yeah. there's a story behind the story. So it's pretty sick. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And I love on the. On the poet stuff, you always reference older movies. Mm -hmm. That's like a big inspiration yeah, to you, it looks yeah. like. So I can't help. I can't help it. Yeah. It's like it's what you feel, right? That's yeah. what you're saying, man. Like, yeah. that's, I yeah. love it. Hey, dude, I, I honestly, I just love seeing you. Like, you post a video of you playing hockey or just like getting the puck around. Yeah. I was yeah. like, dude, to me, that gets me stoked because I know that you're having a good time. Mm -hmm. Like that. And yeah, hell yeah. So I just think it's really cool, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you like that. That's like a big, that's probably one of the only things that probably will forever, you know, bring a, 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 I don't know, a joy, you know, to my life. And when I do, you know, find the chance to get on and uh, cruise around, it's so fun. It just brings back memories to a time when, you know, um, a period in life, like as we all know, when you're that age and, you know, my hockey days were a certain age that seemed like forever, mm -hmm. although they were only probably like 10 years. Mm -hmm. And now like 10 years flies like that. Oh, and uh, yeah. so... so the memories are so vivid and, you know, it seemed like a lifetime. So, yeah, now, and I will say, uh, you know, uh, uh, a shout out to uh, Priest, Priest uh, Hockey Magazine, because that's that was kind of the reason we got on the ice was because uh, we we got connected with, um, with Tyler over at Priest. And uh, it's, it's a magazine I wasn't up on. It's like a really beautiful hockey magazine, but it's like, beautiful pictures, really stylish, uh, stylish. And, huh. um, it has a, a specific look to it and they wanted to do something with poets for the magazine. So mm. we did a couple of shots, just like in the streets, nothing, hostile, not, you know, not on skates or with a stick in the hand or anything. And then, um, one day he was just like, look, it'd be good if we can get some shots like on the ice. And then at that, like the next day I happened to be driving to Long Island, um, no, actually, I spoke to my mother on the phone, and she drove past the pond I used to play on occasionally as a kid. She's like, yeah, the ice rolls over, and kids are on the pond. And I was like, this is perfect. Next day, boom, called them up, went over there, 
and then uh, got some shots, and mm. soon we'll have a nice little article in this magazine. Dude, that's mm. sick that's... that you took the set of the photos on the pond Super that dope. you used to play on. Yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> it's not like you just, oh, let's just go find a random pond. Yeah. Like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, of mean. course. I mean, there's only two ponds in Long Island that I did play on when I was young, and there, it wasn't often because the ponds didn't freeze over every year and if they did it would be for a day or two that you can actually skate on them. gotcha at least that's my memories of it wow. and uh so yeah it was just coincidence and perfect because when when and, and also when it was mentioned that you know we should get some shots on the ice i was in my mind immediately it was like it'd be the best if i can get on a pond like that would be you know because if not i'd have to rent the ice at a rink for like you know however yeah. much money and it'd just be like a production and how a little more awkward and weird but um this was just more natural to show up and do the skate on and cruise on yeah and there's no meaning behind that yeah. if you're at just some ice skating rink yeah. or whatever hockey rink you know what i mean like yeah what's that cool. you know, yeah. uh, you know really cool. i i love i love that but that's it the winter's gone it's going to be 60 degrees tomorrow no more ice but. 60 over oh, there oh that's good that's not bad yeah, not at coming all. to an end that's nah, not at all bro spring is coming are you still playing tennis at all you know what i haven't i haven't in months, ever since, like um, a friend of mine who I played with, he moved to Nevada. He moved to Reno. So, uh, yeah, that's my man. And uh, oh, man. Got, so I haven't got on the court and being in the city too. Um, regardless, I mean, even if I was in Long Island, he wouldn't be there. So, uh, so yeah. No. I Remember when we were in Italy yeah. and uh, we were staying at that house and it had the tennis court. And you, and I think we woke up in the morning and we were like, you're yes, like, oh, yeah. you're like, hey, I'm dying to play. And then like, we looked down at the court and there's this dude playing in there in his Speedos. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. you're like, I don't know, man, maybe I'll just chill for a little bit. <laughs> like, remember that? That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do. I remember being up really early that day and, and uh, it was weird. We were in, it was like a really big, beautiful home. Yeah. And it seemed like, like I was in the basement by myself. That's where I slept. And like, it was just weird. It was, it was, it seemed like nobody was home, right? but we couldn't get around because we didn't speak the language. And also we didn't have a car. We didn't know where we were. I didn't even know where we were. I know. <laughs> but anyway, then I remember seeing you and I think, uh, Jesus from like lawn chairs out in the back. And, uh, then we ended up, I think, uh, having a few drinks and, and there was a guy in Speedo playing tennis. It was the weirdest <laughs> thing. It was the weirdest yeah. thing. So weird. I can't remember thing. the tennis court, the Speedo guy. I don't remember, but yeah. That was, uh, <laughs> because we were, it was, I think it was Fred's. It, it, it was, Pesaro. Yeah, Pesaro. Exactly. Yeah. It was Fed's girl uh, friend and we were staying at her house or. Yeah. It was a weird situation, it but it was guys? rad. Just yeah, it was my, <laughs> myself, uh, yeah. Gino, Jesus, and Feds, yeah. and uh, Feds' uh, yeah. friend. I call that the summer. That was the summer. Dude. We, were on the, we, we slept on the lake, actually, right, the night before. Do you remember my uh, the tan that I got on my belly? It was uh, tiger stripes. <laughs> I remember mine. So I, was, I, I bet. I remember mine. I fell asleep on the, on the, on the top of that boat. Dude. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all got burnt up. Dude, yeah. the sun is strong over there. I don't know yeah. what the deal is, but yeah. I was on this. Remember, we went, to, we went to some little lake. It was like a little river or whatever, and we we're just sitting on the rocks, yeah. and I was sitting like this with my shirt off. Oh, and that was in Milan. That was in Milan, yeah. Was that yeah. in Milan? Mm. That was, yeah. That was this little river that fed took us throughout the country in Milan. Outside the city. That's right. Yeah. A couple of days later, I woke up with these like stripes Ooh. on my belly. Ooh. And then we went out on the boat and I was like super embarrassed. I had my shirt that off. Was awesome, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it took me so long to get rid of those tiger stripes, bro. It was like, it was so bad. I was trying to put sunscreen in between them to like tan up. The, it was <laughs> fun I times though. swimming from the boat to the shore in Pesaro, like in the morning. And getting to the shore, there was all these rocks. And I remember standing on the rocks and getting all these cuts on the bottom of my feet. Because was, there, was, there was something up, there was something on the like shells or something. And, mm. um, and those cuts stayed on the bottom of my feet like the rest of the trip. Like I, like I had to tape up my feet when I went skating. They kept, it was mm. so bad. Damn, uh, I don't remember that. Yeah, that was, that was horrible. That was horrible. Yeah, we were just on a like a boat a and like another boat would pull up and like people would get on our boat and like we'd like cook fish and like it was it was it was wow. insane. Yeah, that's awesome. It was insane. Wow. So much fun. 
Did you guys it, skate at all? No, no, we didn't <laughs> skate at all. No, but it was just like a little side trip. We were out there for a couple months, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then like we, we, so it was like summertime and I think it was in August. If And then August, I think everybody goes, takes off work and goes on holiday. Mm. So that we go to, they went, we went to Pesaro. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Were you so guys much filming for a certain video at that point? All the stuff that I filmed yeah. was in pretty sweet. Oh, okay. So. Oh, that train station. Not the, not the one over the grate, but the one like in front. Front, no, uh, front board. Side board no, no, back. Back. And Jesus did some crazy tricks there. He did like back lip, yeah. like hard flip, some crazy oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's right. What a weird one, right? Whoa. Yeah. But yeah. it's so proper. It's so impressive. Dude, yeah. Yeah. I. I miss milan in italy it's, yeah. it's oh, so fun out so there good. it's so beautiful man yeah, yeah now thinking about it, that yeah. clip you guys are both there like, yeah at the end of it you guys like give them props after i think yeah we got there the same day and uh it was like june like early june and we stayed there till i don't know i stayed till like being in september seriously so it was, oh uh, wow long trip yeah it was, yeah it was dude, such a good trip and that's a that's a trip too where it's like it is a skate trip but we're just friends out there having fun no agenda you know what yeah. i mean like yeah. there's not this yeah. like you know you know weight on your back to go out and get tricks it's just like hey let's go skate if something happens we'll go to the train station we'll right. do this like take a little yeah, vacation exactly. like so much fun you know yeah yeah. I'd wake up and Gino would be watching like Wimbledon, like tennis out there. I'd be like, yeah, oh shit, what's yeah. going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> Air conditioning yeah. broke out there. It was a, it was, that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, it was like the first, the second day we were there, it broke. It was horrible. <clears throat> but still, um, probably the best trip I've had in my life. Dude, uh, to be honest, one of the best trips I've ever had. Dude, me as well. And shout out Federico and his mom. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, for yeah. letting us stay at her house and everything, so it was, it was a be it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. And then we met Fed's what? dad. We went and had ice cream or gelato, dude. It was a, it was a. That's awesome. It was the most amazing trip. Amazing. It was so fun. Yeah. Fed's, yeah. Fed's in the family. Fed's is a great host, man. Great host. And you got some clips out there too. Yeah, I think you did the. Uh, did I you do the switch yeah. no slide two seventy out in the? What? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, and you were going yeah. Mach 10? What, what spot? Yeah. Those were really train nice time skating the train station at like 10 in the morning. Yep. Nobody there. Just bright, sunny. It was really nice. Mm. It was so many. I can't talk enough about that trip about how good that felt out there and just how nice it felt like to check out of being in the United States and all the bullshit that maybe I was dealing with or, go, or just whatever. Like things, you know, just that... Uh, it was nice to take a break from and um, and really not even think about them at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just really nice. It was, a, it was a complete checkout in a good way, though. You know, absolutely. Sort of. Soul, sort of. I yeah, kind of feel the same way, you know, you kind of get cleansed, right? Of just all the mundane yeah. shit that you go through in your regular life, you know, and then now you're out here yeah. in a different country, no agenda, mm -hmm. you know, not a worry in the world, you know, almost. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So I I get clip. Ten, ten years has passed since then, you know? Dude. Wow. Ten years. What's up with you? I, I, have you been skating at all? Or what's what's been going on in uh, in Manhattan, dude? It's kind of just poets on the brain 24-7, mm -hmm. skating. I haven't really been on the board uh, maybe a few times since the holidays. But um, I was kind of in a little groove. The last groove was like before the holidays. Okay. And then the holidays came around, the winter came around, the weather, and then it just kind of, you know. Put a pause so, on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, weather's getting better. I'm sure I'll be getting on it. Yeah. Dude, I want to yeah. see some Gino clips, bro. Yeah, I I've been seeing you guys hitting up the beach, and the footage looks great. Jesus. Gino, listen, yeah. I don't know if you like curbs or whatever. If you're out here, you have to come and skate with us, man. It is yeah. so much yeah. fun. It looks like it. It looks like you guys have a blast. I've seen amazing clips of you drawing. I've seen Chris and, you know. There's a lot of stuff happening over there. Dude, yeah. we're just having fun. And it's funny because you were talking about like the pond you went back to to take those photos. Yep. I grew up cool skating circle. the beach, you know? So now going down there mm -hmm. and skating, it's just like, it's it's a weird feeling, right? You Sometimes you think about it, sometimes you don't, but you're like, dude, I grew up skating here. Yeah. Like I spent half of yeah. my life sitting on this ledge and skating this ledge here. Mm -hmm. You know, now I'm like, just moved yeah. down a couple feet to the smaller <laughs> ledges or the curbs but, but the same yeah. amount of fun though same yeah, amount of fun yeah. and just like that old vibe you know yeah, that warp in time 
that you're here. The, the vibe's most relevant. important. Yeah. The vibe's most important yeah. to me. You yeah. know, I got to have that vibe, yeah. you know. But Dino, listen, we have some clips here we want to talk about. We pulled a bunch of clips and, okay. you know, we, we always go through these clips with, uh, with, with, uh, with people. And sometimes there's like, you know, great backstories and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, so we thought for sure. Um, well, this clip, first of all, uh, at the World Park. This is the shit that I grew up watching you guys and I can't, I mean, look, you got the, you know, the tags in there and man, it must've been yeah. such a, I mean, drunk in a test. No, those too, are, those like, are fucking fun times, man. And I remember that, you know, we'd be going in there, obviously, you know, a group of us and just going in and just trying to get clips, man. But I always remember that Gino would definitely kind of go in there, like sometimes solo flex and come out with some gnarly shit and we'd see it after the fact. And I'd be like, damn, Gino got some ill ass shit. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just how it was. Everybody would get, have their little moments, bro. And then, you know, obviously those are golden yeah, moments. Yeah. Golden moments for me at that time. Well, those are, that's, that's like one of the first times I skated that park. And it was, you know, when I was starting to get, yeah, just started um, to get introduced to the, to the world, mm. Nick, you know? And, um, yes, Flashback brought me there with Bill and, uh, and yeah, we just like skated. I mean, if I would have seen you guys there at that time, I would have skated. You know, so <laughs> thank God I was by myself. Right? Yeah. You know? But um, yeah, so it's like you guys were all like a big, it seemed like from the outside looking in, you guys were pretty tight click. Right. Like all, you know, the blind heads, the world guys, uh, you know, the whole affiliation. Totally. So yeah, it was kind of nerve wracking going there. And if I saw anybody, it was like, you know, these were like guys I looked up to, people I admired in the skating. So, um, Thank God I was on my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, but I agree. Yeah, so, yeah. I agree. The outside looking yeah. in, like, this is a crew. I mean, fuck, if I would have seen them too, I would have been like, yo. Yeah. Schlossbach was yeah, a guy, you know? man. Schloss brought, I mean, brought around so many different dudes, man. It's like he got to skate with a lot yeah. of different cliques too, bro. Mm. Did you guys yeah, get to know him for that brief period? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Did you guys meet so, at the so, World Park? I can't recall when I met Gino, to be honest. Like it's Jerome, yeah, that's that's a hard one. Yeah. yeah. Times like that back then, it's kind of just like you're all of a sudden you're like you and know. And then each you're other. meshed into each other. Yeah, yeah. like it's just one of those things. But I can't recall like, hey man, nice meeting you. Like I can't recall that. Right. It's yeah. just like one of those things that we just knew each other. Now we know each other. You know? Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. So was it surreal for you going into that park, knowing what the hell's going on in there and like trying to get these clips? Definitely. Yeah. I can yeah. Imagine. The World Park was like, a, you know, a famous spot. It was like yeah. the park, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the, the, everything about it, the graffiti and just knowing the kind of tricks that were going down in there at that point in time and skateboarding, it was so groundbreaking and, and just like progressive and, yeah intimidating it was just it was awesome all of yeah. the above totally and they were i mean talk about progressing like they were innovating back then oh hell like yeah. crazy yeah and as you were as like, we, no, well I too mean, bro back tail up. back heel out like come on bro both really of, both of those tricks i had never seen before at that time that's just yeah that's the reality of it yeah i mean you had to do something that you, you didn't see before like that For was sure. right i mean that was Totally. What sure. that place was about. Like you went there to try something you never did or never seen. And, yeah. oh. Right. Yeah. Like you're not gonna go there and just like nose grind the ledge and get the clip, right? Like you're gonna like do some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That was why that park was amazing. Yeah. So, that shit wouldn't have been edited. That would not have been edited. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. But do you remember like this like filming those clips? Like did it take you a long time I, or yeah, it, it probably did. I do remember it. I remember being there and uh, trying the, the switch nose grind flip out mm. first, getting it, and um, and then trying this one. I was, I honestly don't even know why the hell I tried that back tail back heel flip. I don't. I was running back heel flips back in the like gone days, and I had them really, really well. But to do a flip out of the slide, I never like doing that. I can't stand it. It feels horrible. I'm not, I just never <laughs> do it. I can never do it. So, um, That's amazing. And you can see, I mean, the way it's landed. I was like, I'll take it. Like, just, like, right, yeah. I'll, take it. I'll take it. But, but yeah, I remember it. Um, Jill might have even been there. Because uh, me and Jason were skating with Dave every day during yeah. this period. Um, mm. And I can't imagine going there by myself with Dave. So, 
still must have been floating around somewhere. For sure. Oh, wow. Do you sure. what? I mean, I'm but sure you saw a bunch. I'm sure you saw a bunch of clips. Was there anything specific you saw back then that you saw in person that you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I just watched that happen? I have. I don't. Not in person. Only Jason strikes and mm. um, yeah, but most of the stuff that we all know of that we remember, like I, I, I wasn't there to see that live. No. Mm -hmm. Well, because uh, you were still like the Rudy guy. You know, everybody's wrong. Yeah, because at this point in time, I mean, you're still East Coast, right? You're coming back here on trips. No, then I was I was West Coast then. You were living here. Okay. I know where Got I met you. you. I, now. Was I know where I met you now, bro. I met you at Jace at your and Jason Dill's house. We went over to the crib. Oh yeah. Years ago. Mm. Yeah. And I, I think I remember that's when I first met you. Okay. At but your, when at your crib. With, I think when you uh, guys when you guys lived together in Huntington. It must have was it Huntington oh, or then, somewhere? It was probably it was probably Mine Keenan's place. That's yeah. where it was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. the Pacifica Club on Warner. That yeah. could be it. Yep. Damn, you were Warner crew as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were Warner. Uh, but yeah, like Richard used to like had come through a few times, and uh, maybe Daniel, and mm. so I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. yeah. Damn, so sick. Wait, you and Keenan lived in Huntington Beach? We did. Yeah, wow. I, I moved out to Huntington first with Ben Livingston, and then. Keenan, uh, I think he was visiting up north in like Oakland with Ron Allen, yeah. and then um, and then he came down to LA. Then moved out, and me and Keenan got a place in the same apartment complex. Huh. And then that's you know, yeah, we stayed there for a couple of years. You know? I feel like back then LA. too, like Huntington was kind of like the you go there, mm -hmm. yeah. like a lot of the shit was popping off kind of down in Huntington. But that was where Lucero was, so that was my only connection, you ah, know, yeah, yeah, California yeah. initially. Gotcha. So that's what led me to Huntington Beach. The label. Yeah, yeah um, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd love to get, get yeah. your uh, take on this. Because this was a hard spot to skate, man. Everybody was skating this thing. But, I, I mean, for me, shoot. this the, the Burl Banks oh, shit. was insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that trick, dude, what? Bro. Hell yeah. That shit is yeah. hard as fuck to skate now, let alone back yeah. then. Yeah, shaky hard foot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would never do that trick. Uh, <laughs> but just no, but for that spot, it seemed fit. It seemed like like it was one of the tricks that came to mind. And I, I think I could probably do this, and it would be a cool trick. It hasn't been done. Right. But the bank kind of throws you all weird. You could just kind of maneuver. You know, it was just uh, you can kind of like kick it and like shift your body to the to the right. Like just like stuff, you know, yeah. with your legs to the left, your body to the right, bring it. Like it was just, it just, like it worked. It, yeah, yeah. But I would never try it on a flat ground, or I'd never try it downstairs or something. But <laughs> it, and it worked. So yeah. again, I'll take it. Exactly. I mean, just look at how you, you the legs, like, bam. That's a real hard That's flip, right? That's real. real. That's a real hard flip. None of this fucking. Ooh. Yeah. Take it, grab it, tweak it. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Who who is the dude on the bike? Do you remember that? I don't remember. Some random. Yeah. Huh. I just remember Jason and I think uh maybe our friend Arson was there. Oh, okay, yeah, Arson. Yeah. 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 Uh, I guess so. It's just yeah, such a tough spot. We stayed there for a while. Yeah, it's such an iconic spot for back then. You yeah, know, you yeah. see the you see it Rick was, Howard yeah. in plan B, you see it like day just day one yeah. and wow man. Yeah. Like Yeah, the thing looked real steep, dude. There was only a limited few people that skated that shit. It was not. Yeah, for because everybody. you go there and you're like, Whoa, okay, never yeah. mind. Let's go some let's go to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> well it's, if there was a limited few that skated it and made it look amazing. Exactly. You know, like yeah. you know, Rudy's Nolly back cake flip on it looked oh, yeah. completely amazing. Gnarly. And what? switch tricks, you know, switch trays. Oh like, my god. Like, totally. Like, don't vote, wasn't yeah. that bank to ledge there too? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. bank to ledge is real yeah. tough to skate, dude. Yeah, yeah. That looked insane. Yeah, that was that was. Both spots were intimidating for sure. Yeah. Um, we got this trick. What's going on with this, bro? We were wondering what what's up with the spin? <laughs> <laughs> spin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, man. Wow. How yeah. old were you right there? Do you remember? I Probably about 16. 16. I was going to say 15, 16, yeah? Okay. That's yeah. the sponsor me tape? We it was, yeah. It was selling me for Black Label, and um, John would send me products. As you can see, I'm wearing the Black Label t-shirts, like the four. <laughs> so they they sent me footage, and I kept, that's all I would do, was make tapes, send it to them, and 
and um and yeah that thing was uh it was it was uh it was a shock i mean i remember getting stuck in the 360s and just <laughs> You know, one of those moments. They're like, "Holy shit, this is this is cool." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Like, just hold it, keep holding it. Hold yeah, it. yeah. Dude, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tuck my arms and spin faster. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. I love it though, man. It just shows the fun yeah. that the kid, you know, you have as a kid, man, and like something that, like like that just is like sparks you. Those are the good old, good days. old days, man. Man, we we had to pull some old clips yeah. there. We had to put some old clips. I, appreciate it <laughs> okay listen dude well i want to talk about this because <laughs> first of all the line is insane oh dude but you got the actions on the turnaround yeah. bro like, dude it's so sick dude <laughs> bro <laughs> that was <into> it. <laughs> yeah that was a nice it, i'm i like now looking at it i'm so happy that me and keenan got like two lines the same day the same spot it was a good session Totally. And, uh, it looks like it, it. Yeah, that was just like a that was a that was a fun time like around then because that was like we were living up in LA. We were just like skating, going out at night, having fun, running around LA. Just you know, um, we were still like naive and still you know kind of I don't know. Yeah, you were young. Yeah, oh, that's how they came. Yeah, we were young, man. Skating. That was a fun time. That was fun. Mm -hmm. That's is that right when you got on chocolate? I want to, this was in a chocolate thing. It was in the chocolate tour chocolate part, tour. but I remember, oh no, you got on chocolate and mouse. What am I talking about? Yeah, so that's that, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I okay. don't know. Yeah, so this was a little bit after Yeah, that. definitely after. So. But, uh, but just like the turnaround yeah. and. Oh, this is deep. <sighs> Yeah, that's, you know, you know. Skating Lockwood in Las Feliz at these times, man. But mostly Lockwood, obviously, was fucking amazing, bro. The yeah, sessions were just was. lit. This, yeah. was, this was, um, this was off Fairfax. Really. Yeah, it's Fairfax. a school off Fairfax. I know, it's not, I know, yeah. I'm saying around that time, because that's, yeah. you know, obviously. Well, we got, we got uh, Lockwood clips for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Lockwood was just a spot, it was like that you, you, you everybody's going there every weekend and filming and doing it, you know? Yeah. You know what, man? I, looking at this now makes me think back to, like, these times and the sessions and being at Lockwood. And just, like, I'm an anxious person. I, I've, I've come to learn that. I've been probably my whole life and shit. And, like, to think of how it used to feel to go to Lockwood, maybe not after going there so many times and you kind of became sort of like, you know, it became normal, but there's been so many sessions I was so nervous to skate there. I was so like, I felt like I was like, you know, there was so many good skateboarders there, people that you, you know, you had seen or heard about. And like, it was the anxiety level was insane. Like mm -hmm. for me, it was. You still like do this line right there. Like all the dudes, like all the guys over here, I don't know who it was, like probably Tim Brick, all these dudes are sitting there. Those are the guys I look up to. Right. And I'm like, you know, trying to fucking compose myself and do a trick. God, like, I can't even believe I pulled those shit off. I was so like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I can, I can relate. It's true. About everything. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, it's true. Yeah. And it makes me, yeah, it makes me think like it'd be amazing to be able to just shut all that shit off and just skate and have fun and not worry about all that stuff. But that's mm. that age, I guess. That's when you're young. You're, you know, you're going through the motions of everything. Well, mm -hmm. I I can't I, deny I that I, I felt like that too sometimes, Me bro. Too. Really, it's Me just skating too. around all my peers yeah. that I just looked up to, and like now I gotta like you know try to put it on. But like yeah, you sometimes you just try to like you try to block it out, you know, yeah. the best you can, I guess. Well, sometimes yeah. it's like you know this yeah. is your time to like try to do something. Yeah. You know, like hey, these dudes are watching. Yeah, it's like, but it's also I think what Gino is referring to as well is like it's also like you wake up, okay, we're gonna go skate Lockwood today. You already know that it's going to be a fucking a yeah. show there right yeah. you know and so it's like the the yeah. the anxiety like even leading, leading up, up to, to it yeah for sure it's like oh my god we're yeah. going to lockwood okay i'm going to hop the fence oh shit there's everybody already fucking ripping in there right like i got to go in there and get warmed up now <laughs> in front of everybody like those are the kind of motions i would yeah. go through personally like oh my god yeah. yeah but then looking back at the footage you're just like man like what a time Fuck, you know yeah. Fuck. yeah yeah damn I love that little front, yeah, little time. front nose, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, it's so sick. Yeah. This, I love the switch back when he to back nose grind he did too. Oh. I don't think we have that clip here, but 
Shit. That must have been scary, though, trying that trick, man. I've never seen that on the table ever since. Actually, Stevie did it back to forward once. Oh, yeah. I, I could never understand that, how you bring that back around. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Um, but here's some more uh, Lockwood. They had the little um, the the bump over bench. Here's a fucking yeah. hard, hard flip for you. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking about it now. I never saw you do too many hard flips other than like the Burl Bank and then Lockwood right there. Yeah, just like that day over the hip. And I, I, no, I was actually I was kind of running them for a little bit. Mm. I had them uh, on flat pretty good, which was kind of fun uh, to land a solid hard flip on flat. Um, but yeah, it's, for me, it felt like when you, I don't know, you got into a certain trick and then you kind of did it for a little bit and you had it and mm -hmm. you kind of took advantage of it if you could. And yeah. then after that, you left it alone. But at least I did. And it's, <laughs> I didn't, I don't know, I don't feel like I had that many tricks. So I wasn't like, I didn't have every trick down. Like it was always at one point I had one, then I, another point I had another one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it's like you were saying you had know? the back heels, then the hard flips. Then yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, switch back to you, or, switch. or then one day uh, the half. I don't know. Just yeah, it seemed like it went. It just never. Yeah. It, re it yeah. really didn't stick with you. I'm. Just, I mean, certain yeah. tricks. I had the same thing, bro. Like you should be able to do switch inward yeah. heels. So dope. And next thing you know, I can't. Yeah. I can't do that shit for the life. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then also yeah. the switch flip over the table as well it was so sick. Yeah. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even really day. look at that I was, as a bump. I had some numbers a bit. I was not eating anything and just going a lot with and I was tossed up on vitamins and just I just was surprised I could even skate because I hadn't I had no nourishment. But I was running on that that vitamin juice and uh and what do you call it? Um, yeah, I came up with a few clips and I remember getting back to I lived with Kareem at the time and I remember we both we both there that day and I think we might have even gotten a clip or something that day and um we like all I wanted to do was get back to the apartment roll a blunt and just like take my shoes off and sit down and like we both got back to the, we were both feeling the same exact way but we didn't even like really mention it and then we got back to the apartment i went to my room he went into his room then like we both came back we both had our slippers on like our shorts on and just like blunts rolled and we just, it was just a funny moment like we were both like on the same exact page but we had a good day and it felt good like productive you know yeah um, so sick yeah that was funny those were the best days wow Seriously. that was it was when you get yeah. when you get it one yeah, or two clips in a day and you go home and you're just like man that was a good day straight up <laughs> yeah for real yeah. one yeah. one clip is great but if I got two oh, woo, hell yeah boy, I'm putting yeah. on my slippers and yeah. robe too bro <laughs> trust me uh. well John you mentioned that like, like that thing wasn't much of a bump but to, in the footage it looks good I know but I didn't I don't remember it being like a bump I mean but it was there I guess apparently. Mm. I mean, they, then yeah. they took that down, and then people scared the, the other, other side, one. Right. The other one, that didn't seem like Either. a bump at all. No. But mm. just enough. It was just enough to work it out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool because it didn't. Yeah, it didn't look like it was a bump, but uh, it exactly helped. just enough. Yeah. To kick you over. We always talk about um, the Roslyn, the Roslyn Manny Pad. I mean, I've never been there. Yeah. I've always wanted to go ever yeah. since I seen you skate. I've never been there. It's crusty, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've heard it's super crusty. Yeah, it used to be a lot more than it is now. I mean, they just oh, they repaved the ground, I think, right? Or something? Did they? Yeah. they did. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, they repaved it and did the cement as well, I believe. So, nice. like, the lip on the bottom there where the curb and the parking lot meet, that was always pretty big. But I, it was good, though, because it kind of popped you off, which yeah. was nice. So you had to kind of, like, lift a little bit. But it was always a fun spot, and I grew up there, you know? I grew up skating this spot. Uh, Sponsor me tapes, had, like, footage there. Any reason why you would skate it at night? It's the only, you can only skate the spot on the weekends or at night. So it was probably a weekday. Because of cars. Cars, yeah. yeah. And back then, I was actually, yeah, I was skating a lot at night, which is cool. Yeah. Sure, yeah, right. What is there exactly? Is it like a business or is it like a, a little it's mini a train mart? station. Ah, train yeah. station. No, it's a train station. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. right there behind me is the, the train track. The thing that I liked about that, this, this manual pad and kind of downhill sometimes helps you with tricks also, but... This one was longer, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So even the downhill, you still had to hold it, right? There's some downhill mani pads you kind of get on, you hold it, you get off. Yep. This one is like a back three mani. Like you got to seriously hold that thing the rest of the way, you know? It makes it so much harder. It's always that weird when your body wants to keep turning and it's a little bit longer, so you have to kind of hold it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, you could tell right away in the footage, like you yeah. are starting to turn and you're trying to hold it as long as you can. Yeah, 
dude, he was also <laughs> hauling ass. I always tripped out in that because I went there and I was like, I had to go mad slow, but I was just tripping out how fast you would go on that thing. He always skates fast though. You you always had had some good speed, you know. Just always felt more comfortable. Yeah. More sketchy to go slow. Bro, I can't do back threes. I never learned them. I couldn't do them for the life of me. Nah, but nah, the nah. the way that you would do the back threes, your front foot coming off and like, bro, so good, Gino. Let me tell you something. Yeah, that's amazing. I've always loved back threes. I mean, we we all do, don't we? You know? Totally. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I can't do them, but I love them. Yeah. I love them too. They I look can, so and I can do them. good. Nah. <laughs> I, I, it's funny. Nah. I. You, I only say this to Gino because I know he calls it this, the shove it kick flip or kick shove it. You don't call them varial flips. I, I'm pretty positive that you would not call that a varial <laughs> flip. The fakey varial flip, fakey manual, or fakey shove it kick flip, fakey manual. Yeah. But like you you were kind of the only one, but you and like maybe Brian Anderson mm-hmm. were the only ones really running that. Was there any inspiration from doing shove it kick flips back then? You know what? No, I, I don't. I remember I think I tried it at, uh, I think it was Adam's. And um, Adams is like that bump. Yeah, uh, it's a four one opener. To, it's like a a bump over a gap, and I don't know. It was just one of those. I think I tried it. I don't know why I even tried it because I can't stand like Nolly shove it flips. Oh really? You know? Okay, yeah. I I I I just don't. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's completely different. I just can't stand them. But, just, but um. So it would make you think, like, why would you even think that a fakey shoulder flip would look good than if you can't stand now each other flips? But for some reason, when I would do it, it would level out, and I would catch it with my back foot first. Mm-hmm. So if you landed, like, with your back foot on the tail and your front foot in the middle of the board, like, that was the shit. Like, it would, you know. Yeah. But if you did the fakey shoulder flip and you landed with, like, your your back foot on the tail, you yeah. know, does, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. I, real quick too. Uh, uh, we didn't pull that clip either. I forgot about that. When you do the fake, you shove a kickflip at the Adams bump. Mm-hmm. Like it was a four yeah. one opener, but it looked like you got pissed when you landed because I think you like shot your board out I, or something. I did. I, re- I remember that too, and I remember regretting that because I was like, you know what? It was actually good. Like what the fuck? And then um, I think I might have tried it a couple more times, and then I just said fuck it. But uh, but it was a land, and then like as I was riding away, I thought it was sketchy because I kind of tick tock a little bit, and so I kicked it out. And um, I thought I'd do it cleaner because, you know, such a perfectionist. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. But, um, uh, but yeah, that was that. But I, I, I always regretted doing that. Mm. Yeah. I, I thought, it, to be honest, yeah. it kind of stood out to me. I always thought that was really cool. I don't know. Those little right. things always stand out, yeah. right? Because then you're always wondering, like, why did he do that? Yeah, no, they always look fun. Like, if they always like to add those little things, like, naturally, they're kind of fun. And they always look kind of cool when you see people doing them but yeah at that time i remember being like why the hell did i kick that out like, right but, but it didn't feel right and then sometimes when you watch it back in the camera yeah. and you're like this was perfect yeah, why did i even try that for another two hours yeah. like for sure let's, yeah exactly let's, exactly. let's go bro no doubt. um yeah. let's see uh oh this one always stood out to me too because it's kind of the same thing that we were just talking about but it's like the the switch flip you roll off the curb and fall you got enough cost in right there, too, just laughing. You know what's amazing about skating, too? Like, you know, filming and all that shit is, like, like living with yourself when you know you didn't do it the way you want to do it and the way you should do it. Totally. Like, walking away, going home, and finding every excuse you can as to why it was, like, it was good enough. It was good. Like, it, you know, my toe dragged a little bit, but it was it's okay. It looks cool. Like, it's <laughs> <Yeah. okay. laughs> But you know that it'll eat you up for the rest of your life. Like every time you see it, like it's just, it's, it's funny. No, right. totally. Totally. What about this clip? Does right. it eat you up that you fell off or is it to kind of? I don't even know what the hell that was. I didn't want to do that shit anymore. Like I can't, that spot, I hated that spot. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I just couldn't do it. I don't know. I felt like I couldn't. And uh, either we got kicked out or something mm. and, um, and I didn't go back or something like that but it was a fucking hard bump to skate because that bump is a just it was a different pop every time right oh what right. was was it like more round or something it was just like you know from left to right it was a different size it was like bigger on one side small on the other it was kind of lumpy i think and mm. it just uh you know you're landing on a sidewalk but like some people like went into the black top like guys switch shove it but like am i fucking corny because i'm going on the sidewalk or should i go in the street <laughs> yeah right right and it just never you know i never had a good day there I love that clip though. That you're like thirst or something. You were like, yeah, thirsty. Like, you know, I was trying to ride off the 
curve with one foot like stay on <laughs> <laughs> then they ruined the spot and they put a the, well they didn't ruin it they put a bar a big fucking black yeah. bar right there yeah and I, somebody's ollied her or yeah. kick flipped it or something yeah i've seen dude. someone skated i can't remember who i ollied it, was. it. oh did you? you strength cover first and only cover what? oh <laughs> right. tight Alex oh yeah he kick flipped oh, it too. okay yeah 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 yep. right. yeah later right. on like in what i do like, but also yeah. gino like you're uh, to me i think you're you're just so known for like the lines that you do you know what i mean like this line to me yeah, is the most beautiful line i mean everything about it is like perfect you know what i mean the filming yeah. the pushing the That's the nollie backside heel the twi- you know what the I, back like, tail yeah i think it's crazy too it's this- such a nice spot i mean and the way it was filmed i mean that was Mesa, right um, i don't yeah, know I was about to say who filmed it. maybe Mesa. Yeah. yeah yeah it's just like you, you you get he gets in a little in front of you right there. You get to see like you get the city in the background, bro. like the buildings. Yeah, the it just looks cool. Amazing. Brick and that type of floor always looks good when you're flying by. Right. This was in um, Chocolate, Tour. Chocolate Tour. This was the first line right after uh, Gino Skate Part. Yeah. Open the door. Mm-hmm. Down by uh, downtown New York. That was uh, the Pyramid Legend. Yeah. Ah, okay. Did you choose a song to the chocolate tour? Of course, yeah. That's it. yeah, yeah. You always had the best soundtracks, bro. For real. For real. It wasn't hard, man. Just had, you know, we tanked it out some pretty, pretty awesome tracks. Yeah, no it was <clears throat> had amazing beats, and it just went great with skating. And yeah, you know, yeah. while they were, you know, at the same time, and then putting them out too, it was, it was awesome. So mm-hmm. I was supposed to look good with skating. What shoes are those? Actions too? What are those? Like uh, the cream Campbells? Yeah. Creams. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the black with like I think they were yellow maybe at the bottom. Yeah, black and yellow. Yeah. Big oh, yeah. shout out to, to Action coming back in yeah. 2021 as well. Nice to see. The setup for the nollie back heel. That that's what always got me. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna sc- you know the ride across that top. You can only ride along. It was like a foot long. Okay. Width. And then the rest of it was kind of like rocks, like rocky. Oh. So you, you could ride along it, but it was rough. So you had to kind of stay all the way to the left on that strip. I see what you're so saying. Like, yeah, you couldn't really like, you know, it was a quick maneuver. You, you, you couldn't. Um... You couldn't like steer sort of, you know, you had to stay straight. Right. So I guess the only way to, hop, uh, you know. That up would be the hop. Uh, but that's what always what stuck not, stuck out to me though is just because you you didn't have to like you didn't ollie up and then you wiggle. know wiggle your feet yeah. and get set up. It's just that, that one little hop, boom. Dude, that's you know what so I mean? Sick, dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, listen, sorry yeah. to gas you up right now, bro. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. We, we dude. are like I like I grew up like oh, this I is the shit. I like that line too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but this is the shit that I grew up on that like shaped me as a skateboarder. See, you know what I mean? Like, awesome. For real. For yeah. real, like yeah, yeah, this was on repeat as a kid, man. Oh my god, it's crazy, no doubt. And these, the the um, where where's the where's the Black Rock? Uh, what part of town was that in, by the way, the of New York? This one, Battery Park. Oh, it's Battery Park. It's, town. it's Battery Park. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's by the yeah, it's by the World Trade Center. Did I not pull that clip? Where was the clip? Hold on, I'm looking for. That the, was there, uh, that day, the marble. I'm looking for the uh, <laughs> was <it> El Toro. <laughs> was it El Toro? <laughs> Must have a wrong clip in there. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what happened to it. What are you looking for? Ah, uh, the line at Black Rock yeah. in San Francisco. You know, I, mean, I must have not loaded it, but you know, just those lines. Want me to pull up on the computer? No, 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 it's it's fine, Raj. It's fine because we got a bunch of other stuff here. Now, Gino, the the uh, El Toro <laughs> clip <laughs> here <laughs> is. Um, I'm wondering. Oh wait, you're naked. That's a. Yeah, that's out. Jaws. That was from a different episode. I, I, my bad for putting that in there. I don't know, man. I just woke up one day and I, <laughs> I was in a I was in a funky mood. You know? Switch all in Toro. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh God, man! I must not have loaded that clip right, dude. Wow. Shit. It's okay, man. We're uh oh oh bro. please let's this shit. <laughs> there we go. USC back in its heyday yeah. was so fucking fun. I don't know if you yeah, felt the same, but it was like so, and it, again, it was like a skate park, right? Anytime you'd show up, there'd be a gang of people there, probably all pros and shit. It was a little yeah. intimidating a little bit for me. 
that shit was ahead of its time, bro. It right there. Yeah, for sure, dude. Okay. I had never seen that trick before. Is mm -hmm. how did you end up trying that trick? Well, that trick I seen Bertino try or do at the World Park. Around I Bertino? just randomly seen yeah Bertino. Mm -hmm. I, at least I I think I remember I saw like we would always see if we went to World and we were watching footage we would somehow see other clips yep. we see shit. Yep. And then I happened to see Ronnie do it on like a curve, like a small curve, like the ma like the manuals or something, mm -hmm. like the manuals had like it had a curve on the side. It was like something like that. I was like, wow, that trick looks sick. And I don't know if I was like, why did he, you know, why did he do it, or if he did it, why? Anyway, mm -hmm. but that was where I got the idea for it first. And then again, that was like another trick at that time, like now like three sixties that were like coming pretty, feeling pretty comfortable doing them. Mm. And uh, I don't know. I was with like Dallin that day, and made it happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I just remember that was the first time seeing it was Bertino. So uh, that's amazing. I definitely got to give props wow. to and, and credit for him. Straight up, Ronnie Bertino. I feel yeah. like Ronnie Bertino was ahead of his time he as well. Hell he yeah, definitely was, man, yeah. for sure. Yeah, he, he, I, he looked great on a skateboard. Man. He looks so good on a skateboard, man. And I, I yeah. he was kind of one of the guys that just kind of like disappeared. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know where what happened to him. Or his footage just kind of stopped yeah. coming, and mm -hmm. I'm like, where is this guy, man? No, everything that he put out yeah. was fucking either hadn't been done before or he's just making some shit up like yeah dude and he just looked good on a board yeah. dude when he's rode away from the tricks mm -hmm. and turned around you're like oh that looks sick what a trick dude so sick, bro. yeah that's very pleasing to watch over and over damn <clears throat> okay yeah sorry, Chris sorry got, Chris I'm, got I'm, 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 in a, I'm in a trance i'm in a trance bro. <sighs> gino man let's see you want to see the naked clip down El Toro again, or should I? Uh, let's move on. No, let's, let's move let's, on. Let's move okay, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was uh, ooh, it's the last trick in trilogy right there, dude. By the way, trilogy, yeah. holy shit, such a good video, man. Hey, Another you? video that I that like shaped yeah. me. You know, that that's out of the uh, the school in Mar Vista. It's a Mar Vista school. It had a little little bump right over there to the right there. Oh, that's right, right to the right, yeah. I, I mean that that trick's that trick's gnarly, dude. Hey, no, you never see that trick Ooh. even really too often anymore. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It is a weird one. It's a weird one. I, I I first tried it. I think at the school. I did try it for the first time at the school. We we uh, me and Keenan did those two lines that one off of uh, Fairfax or something. I remember trying it there one day and it got dark. And as I was showing it, it got too dark, so I stopped. And then I ended up there uh, this school. Mm -hmm. I just tried it again and it worked out. Damn. Such a weird one. And skating those felines too, they were not the most, they weren't the easiest shoes to mm -hmm. skate in, but they looked good. I remember, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Is that when you're getting those shits from the outlet? I remember. Probably. Running. Yeah, dude. We definitely were stacking yeah. some shit at that time. <laughs> they were like, they might have even been patent leather. I remember there was like patent leather. <laughs> was like clean It was horrible. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's a great one, man. Hell yeah. Because again, like you're on top of it. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like a crook. It was a back, you know, yeah. balanced. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think there was a touch or anything on that. So. No, yeah. not that I can tell. That was great, man. Yeah, that was fucking pimp. I don't know, man. I mean, just skating back then, it was just so, so different than it is today. You know what I mean? For sure. I mean, sure. of course, it, yeah. it, it, it always is, but... I don't know, I'm just sitting here reminiscing and man, it was such great times back then, bro. Yeah, the music yeah. coming out back then, the skating, the crews back then, the companies. It just Again, I, I think I'm looking at it too because like I was around. Yeah. I didn't know anybody, but this was like my hood, you know, like West LA Courthouse, the beach, this Mar Vista school, like all I, so I would see everybody around, you know. So it was kind of this like, oh my God, coming like they're life. You know, you're at a spot and there's costing, oh shit. You know, it's like this, like, when you're a kid, it's like, whoa, dude. Hell like, yeah. my heroes are here. Yeah. I know this is really random, but it's not much of a story, to be honest. But I remember going to a premiere in downtown somewhere, and I saw Gino there, like, standing in line. And it was just, I was such a kid. I was just like, oh my God, that's Gino. Oh my God. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like, that's how special skating was to me back then. It still is special to me, but right. that's why you're like, when you go places and you're like, you get the butterflies of fucking Eric Costin's there, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. 
That's what it was like back then, man. Right. You'd go to the spot and see Jerron Wilson there. You're like, oh my gosh, Jerron Wilson. Yeah. I wonder if kids even, well, especially LA, they don't really think of it like that anymore. LA is a different beast. Yeah. Yeah. I think they do it with the, the newer, younger kids, like the oh, know, for the sure. If they saw safe kids, I mean, some kids are not going to fucking know me, you know, to a certain degree because if they're within that same that age demographic where you kind of just pay attention to what you pay attention to, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. somebody older come and tells you, hey, you know, you should fucking check these guys out, then you kind of check it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, for I sure. I feel like Gino, are you maybe you're like the the same because me, I don't like. I, like I, I, I feel like I, you don't like the limelight, right? You, like you don't, you're more like reserved and kind of like to your, you know, keep to yourself. Like that, that's kind of how I am, you know. Did you ever feel a certain way about, you know, about what? I mean, just about kind of being praised or this or that, or it's like, oh, Gino's push and like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, mean, I don't, uh, the limelight and like even doing things like this, it's like uh, it's hard because I just for whatever reason, there's an uncomfortability and, you know, at this age too, I'm like, oh, finally, or whatever the case. Uh, <laughs> it's like, cause it's, you find yourself trying to figure out why and it's like, it, it's, it's, I don't know. Um, yeah, the uncomfortable feelings, like, yeah, I wish I wasn't. I wish those weren't around, but, um, um, like limelight and, yeah, like uh, the way I the way I look at it, it's kind of like, well, what's behind that? And I don't know. It's like on some psychology shit. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. Sometimes it's hard, you know, and just trying to dig in and, and figure it out. It's probably hard to re to respond to stuff like that, right? Someone comes up to you and be like, "Hey, dude, you're the sickest." You're like, "Sick, <laughs> thanks, like, bro." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I, you know. But well, for instance, you know, I look at you know someone like yourself, who's like an incredibly gifted talented skateboarder you know and you know to get compliments from you it's like i i, I the way i look at it, i'm like you, you know wait are you talking to me not, right now yeah, I'm talking <laughs> to you. i think he's, he's talking, I think he's talking, talking to me bro. I he's talking oh, no, wait, thank you me. thank you dude that's that means a yeah, lot yeah, no i just i've always thought you know it's, it's interesting when i hear people like yourself say kind words and then i'm like well what the fuck man like i don't like it's almost i don't deserve it but it's like it's just weird, no, it's, right? It's funny. I don't think that you guys really understood what you were doing to like a younger generation like myself. Because we all looked up to you like you were rock star. Like you guys were rock stars yeah. in a weird way, you know? Yeah. And that was like all I cared about was skateboarding. And that was it in those pros. Like who was on Girl and Chocolate? Who was on Alien? And that was everything, yeah. dude. So it, it it is a weird thing probably to hear that because you guys were just, oh, we're out skating with friends. And right. we're just filming and that's yeah. it. And so like we had a whole different perception of it. Right. And me as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm almost the same age as everybody, you know, but I, I, I looked up to them like they were bigger than life yeah. and yeah. just like, I'm this little kid and you're these, <laughs> these, yeah, but they were the same age. Yeah. Totally. Like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Well, embrace it, bro, because you've put your stamp on skateboarding, man. And, and, in a real Bro. way, straight up. Yeah, it's very influential, man. For it's real. just fun to watch and For real. Yeah, I don't know. No other, no yeah. other skater with this style, and you know, it's mm -hmm. it's everything. You know, Gino, that that's what it is. It's everything. You yeah. know, man, that's damn that's, true. That's awesome, too, that, Bro, you know, I can't say anything, but I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough thing, <laughs> right? Not for real. I mean, that's that's, that's nice to do the thing. Uh, sure. You know, to be able to do something your uh, kind of like invest so much of your life into something and then to, you know, um, get praised for your accolades, get praised for what you've done. Yeah. Cause it also just like, <clears throat> honestly watching the footage, it, it just honestly motivates me to go skate. Like, you know what I mean? I guess that's the end of the day thing. If you could motivate someone to go skate, it's all yeah. that matters. Dude. And it's cool to watch your footage and I'm like, yeah, I want to go skate. Cause the way you've put it together with the music, it mm. just, Mm -hmm. It's moved a lot, and I, I just appreciate it. And I'm sure I know all Chris and Drawn and everyone oh does God. too. Oh but God. yeah, 100%. it's like I and I hate I don't I sometimes I don't even I'm like hey I don't mean to like gas you up or I I saw him the other day I saw Sage Olsesser and I was like hey dude I don't mean to like be like that but I really appreciate what you do man it yeah. motivates me to go skate yeah. that, that's really cool so. Yeah. I think he hit yeah. the nail on the head. Like just it, that motivation to go well, want to go do something that somebody else is doing. Right. Yeah. And that's that's a that's special. Cuz no one else there's not a lot yeah. of people that can do that, right? 
Totally. Yeah. Like in the world of no. skating, like I watch videos all the time and I'm not motivated to go skate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, straight up, you know, <laughs> real shit. I, this is probably a silly question to ask this far into it, but like the pronoun, I mean, we asked about your, on your episode too. What's the correct way to say your last name? Ianucci. 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 It's coming from, I always, always said, my friends always said Ianucci. You probably uh, hear that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it goes either way, but it is it's Ianucci. Ianucci, Ianucci. Ianucci. Okay, good to know. Nice. <laughs> well, let, let's move. Let's move right along, man, because um, we oh, still uh, have a couple clips. That, God, it's this <laughs> fucking clip. I'm sorry, bro. I I gotta cross this off the list. I had um, the Jaquan beneficial gap to ledge on there, but we'll go with the. Uh, okay. We'll go yeah. with the. Uh, oh wait, I just did that one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This double set, we always talk about it a lot. Uh, it was by the airport, kind of, and it was a hot spot yeah. for a while. And it wasn't a small double set. It was like a pretty good yeah, size, nice. hefty, long double set. We were deep that day. I was there that day. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah. yeah, we were deep that day. I think is, is this the day that guy did the switch tray and they got and it, no one and someone missed it. No, no. okay. So then there yeah, was two I different days. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah. But I think I was there. Is but you were, were you? Sorry, Gino. Uh, does was Jerome? Okay. Were, you, were you there the day that he did that drawing? Yeah, he. You were there the day he switched traded. Yeah. Damn, dude. Fucking psycho, dude. Like, I guess whoever was there that day just took the camera out a little bit too late. Cause was he, that? He was just in the zone. You gotta. You when the guy was in the zone, he just you gotta get the camera out. Make sure you get it out. Because yeah. he was just going, and sure enough, he fucking did it. And I was like, Did anyone get that? <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing what a beautiful switch flip beautiful yeah. like i said that, that that was not a big i mean it was not a small uh double set i remember i went there a couple of times like yeah. oh god i gotta fly over this thing jesus but the ground it was, was nice absolutely perfect. Marble, so, yeah. you know. the marble ground right perfect. yeah right. you just fly it out you know it's always nice to see that kind of a surface like going big you know let me ask you a question since we're watching this uh switch flip i mean Maybe it's it's kind of half and half because that's what skateboarding is. But did a lot of stuff back then take you a lot of tries, or would you kind of do stuff quick back then? Sometimes quick. A lot of times uh, it was a, a mission. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, but like, say for instance, this. This I don't think this was too long. Yeah, no. I think this was fairly fast. Yeah, this wasn't that bad. So good but, though. Fuck. I mean, it was like some some things you wouldn't. You wouldn't, you know how it goes. Some some tricks you would, you would assume, you probably got put fucking took forever. So mm -hmm. you can't call it. Yeah. But again, like I'm thinking back to like certain tricks that I had on film for one on one that I was learning the trick as I was filming it. So mm -hmm. you know, as is the case, man. You know, learning some of these tricks, yeah. you never you you do it once in your lifetime. Of course, but that's, that's how it was it. at that time. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. 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 Well, this is a random question, Man. kind of when it comes to like skating that. stairs. Do you, do you, when you skate stairs or gaps, do you like try to commit to it every single try, or do you like catch tricks and kick it out or anything like that? Because I see, I never seen you switch front shove like a double set in the chocolate tour, the hot chocolate tour, and you were just taking slams yeah. because you were committing, but the board was still sideways. Hmm. And I just didn't know yeah, if like you yeah. just commit, but before you know, before you're trying it, you're just like committing to it. Yeah, that's a good question, man. I'm trying to remember how it is to skate things like that. And how, <laughs> you know, how it works. No, I, 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 Gino, I feel like, and I don't want to answer this question for you, but I feel like you and Mark Johnson, when I'd always watch you guys skate, no matter if the board was upside down or sideways, like you guys would always try to put your feet on it and land on it. And I would always trip out on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you and MJ, like, I was like, wow, that's yeah. okay. Like, they're getting ready to land it. They're not getting that muscle memory of kicking out and kicking out and kicking out. You know what I mean? Like you're going for it every yeah, try. Yeah. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe that is a, a, the process, like kind of getting accustomed to just how it feels to step on the board, mm -hmm. even if it's upside down. Yeah. Especially when you kind of been doing it for a few times, I would assume, and you kind of been down a few times and you kind of know how the fall is going to go. You could just like, anticipate the fall but get the feet on it so now you know, you know that kind of thing because when i would skate stairs or gaps i i would just go gradually like switch up catch it kick it out and then slowly bring it down and take it away mm -hmm. and that's how i've been and i would watch like some skaters and they would just they just go put it, it put it down regardless of where it's yeah. at you know 
but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everyone has their own techniques, and they're all different. Yeah, sure. But when you know mine, I think it all. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it can. Maybe it can push you to kind of like commit to it, like knowing you're not going to land, but you just want to land on the board, gets you a little bit more amped than just like constantly taking it out or something like right. that. Right. I feel like just kicking it out, just kind of for me myself, just backfires. So, it's just muscle memory. Now I'm never gonna land it because I'm stuck just, in that rut of kicking I'm out. Stuck in the rut, yeah. man. I was a king of kick out, straight up. King, king of kick out. King, king of kick out. Kick out. Okay, <laughs> it'd be right there, and I'm just like about to land. Like no, fucking dumbass. Like, dumbass. Yeah. yeah, that's how I felt. Yeah, like you feel it hit your feet. Yeah. and you kick it out. Yeah, you're like what. Why? What happened? What happened? Yeah. And then all your friends are watching. They're like, why did you do yeah, that? And you're true. just, oh my you're God. You're like, I'm the king of kick out. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. All right, Gino, a couple more. This one, uh, I love this. I love this clip here too. Uh, we're going to go this one. Boom. Cool spot. Little DIY spot. Uh, back lip. Yeah. Kick flip out. Man, beautiful. Did that perfect, bro. Oh, for a sec. Thanks, man. Um, that was a fun spot. Yeah. Hey, you said earlier you don't really like doing the flip outs, and that one ooh, yeah. was pretty good. That one was really good. I don't know, man. That that ledge is feeling really good for back lifts. I remember like skating there a bunch in the mornings with Guy and Retta. We go there and get a coffee, skate there. I don't know, like just straight back lifts were feeling amazing. And then I started trying to think about, and like they felt better than it looked, like the one I landed, but um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's beautiful, yeah, bro. Yeah, cool. I think it's beautiful. One of the couple flip out that. I think I what what to me, your landing is one of the most special parts about your skateboarding. The way that you land, the way that your arms are, the way that you know the the body's positioned. It's like. No, it's it's great. It yeah, adds to beautiful. the trick, and you know that that roll away, man. I can tell on that one, you, you felt like you didn't do it the way, or if because it looks good to me, but it, did you feel yeah. like you didn't land it right or something? Because you like kind of pause there. Yeah, it didn't. Nah, it wasn't like the way I envisioned doing it. Mm, you know? Yeah, it was, it was, you know, yeah, um, a little like you can see, it's like the whole body, everything is awkward, but um. You know, we always envision it being perfect and flying between our legs, catching it in the air, <laughs> fucking landing all four wheels and all that shit. But like, it didn't happen. So, but you're right. You're definitely right. Yeah. Going back to what I was saying with the the uh, the arms and stuff, I was like going back to this world park. I mean, just the. Uh, the right here when you land the thing with the arm, like mm. boom. You know what I mean? Like the arms. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I don't it's know, Jerry. It's, like, it's hard to explain. It's, it's hard, hard to explain. To explain. Yeah. It's hard to explain to him, and he's like, "What is he gonna say?" Like, "Yeah, yeah, my <laughs> arm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my arm's going this way, that way. All right, next. You know, yeah. for real. But I mean, that's, bro. It's so fucking. We've all had those, you know, like you, you had them, Jerome's had them, Kelly yeah. had them, Rob's had them. You know, those those certain lands that you just kind of hold on to and stick the arm out. Ooh, pull yeah. a deal, you know. Last one. Gino, and the reason why I pulled this, first of all, it's in Italy, and um, yeah, I always heard feds <laughs> talk about like, dude, this is the Gino gap, dude, like the Gino gap, like dude. this is a gap, yeah. like everybody now like calls this the Gino gap, like, <laughs> so you have a gap named after you in in Italy. That's awesome. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But the, what yeah. a spot though. Yeah, I mean, literally amazing. throw down, quick, quick yeah. run up. Um, yeah. What was the story behind this? Was this on a tour? It was a trip that Reddit put together. So it was like American and Italian. Going gotcha. To Italy. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was me, Reddit, Papalardo. We, we brought um, Mike Taylor and um, Vinny Matoya and Stefan Otardo. And it was a cool crew. And we, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, we just went out there for like a week. Hmm. Up with friends and um, stayed in stayed in Rome and just skated some local Rome spots with some of the locals out there, Ali and uh, and it was cool. And we just I don't know we pulled up to this spot and I was skating it with Pops and Mike and um, I don't know man it felt good. It was just like marble always feels good. Always feels yeah, good, good man. Really. Especially yeah. when you, if you don't oh. land it and you fall. You just, that, you just slide it yeah, out. So awesome. good. Slide it out. Yep. But I love the, I, I remember those Reddit trips. He'd always go out every year. I think he'd take a different mm -hmm. crew with him. Um, yeah. Always wanted yeah, to go. Yeah. I never got the invite, but uh, yeah, man. Yeah. We did it like three or four years. 
they ended up taking Guy a couple times, I think. Yeah. Uh, after yeah. that, two years after, yeah. I think Guy got the cover out there one time. Switchback tail or back tail. Yeah. This like huge yeah. bank thing. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool spot. I've never skated yeah. Rome, but uh, I could. I, it nah, looks man. amazing. Yeah, there's some there's stuff some out there. There's it was spots. really hot those days. Like Italy summer, it was like July. It was so fucking hot. Right. And, um, but yeah, there's some shit to skate out there. And, you know, being in Rome. Rome is crazy. What well, what was that spot right there? Where was it at? It, it looks like some like glorious place. I remember Federico saying it's a Mussolini spot, but I don't really know what that meant or I mean <laughs> what like, you know, what yeah. the relations with Mussolini. But um yeah. yeah, it's fun. It's fun to go out on these trips, especially with like a different crew that you normally don't skate with or go on tours with. Yeah. Like, I think that's a, one thing that's special about skateboarding too, is like you have your teams, you go on these trips, but then also the trips that involve the people that maybe you've never even met mm -hmm. and you get to bond with them and really get to know yeah. them. You know who they <laughs> are, obviously, but I love that. Yeah, no matter what, you always come out with some kind of story, something funny or something that's memorable about, you know, someone that you never met. And yeah, it's cool to think like, to think how many years that, you know, we've done this and, and how many people we've gotten up, been privileged to get, you know, the opportunity to do these things, to travel the world, and, you know. Man. Really awesome. We, I mean, Gino, we say it all the time here, man. It's like we, none of us would be here right now. I wouldn't know Jerron. I wouldn't know Kelly. I wouldn't know you. I mean, skateboarding, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, geez, yeah. it's opened so many doors to meeting people. Gift. It's, so, it's seriously, so seriously a gift. Bro. Yeah. I just trip out how we like found skateboarding and it wasn't just for like two years. It was like, it's our life, yeah. right? Definitely. Like. So a lot of people that go, it's like in their life right, for a year, they find something else and they go do whatever that is. But f we're pretty blessed that we just like fell in love with this thing and let it take over. Right. Totally. I don't know. It's wild to me. Totally. And, hey, to be honest, I'm really happy. It's, this tripped me out just now that I'm a watch or hanging out with you guys. Just drawn Gino, Chris. <laughs> Insane. This is really cool. Nice. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly does this yeah, often. Yeah. We, we love Kelly for this. I, I, but dude, it's like real <laughs> shit, like real, little kid shit coming out right now. So it's, it's just really cool, man. That's too dope. Yep. Yeah. I apologize. Just gotta, <laughs> just gotta <laughs> do it. We just gotta do it. Gotta wow. do it. Hey, what's going on here? Kelly's freaking out. What's going on? He's freaking out. He's freaking out. Should I give him another potato to carve? <laughs> no. I think he needs another potato to carve. Please let me live yeah. once, dude. Let what? me chill. <laughs> Come on, bro. We need another wheel. <laughs> No, this is good. This is great because, uh, you know, um, I don't know. You guys mean a lot to me as well, you know, especially like Chris, Jerron. It was like, a, a, you know, something special that we were a part of for so many years of our lives. And yeah, I don't know. Um, you can forget that kind of shit, you know, and I can be honest, I think I've kind of forgotten it lately. And then it's times like this, it reminds you to look at old footage and be, you know, go well back to those times and, uh, it's great, and uh, you know, thank you guys for doing this. Thank uh, you, of course, dude. Thank yeah. you, Gina. Yeah, yeah thank you. Not for me at the moment, so. For yeah, sure. it's funny. Yeah. I, as funny as it sounds, I mean, like, I don't go back and watch old videos of me, you know? Like, when they yeah. first came out, maybe, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch my part again. And, you know, you like watching yourself, right. or at least me. And then I'm not watching, like, hot chocolate tour or no. you know what i mean yeah. like what why yeah. you know it is cool to like look back on it sometimes and it's like that was like you're saying to you, it's like, i'm just it's but i don't remember the last yeah. time i did i get reminded by people like they'll I mean, post they'll post something and i'm gonna post true. it i'm gonna repost that you <laughs> yeah. know what i'm saying like straight up but not the whole video you yeah. don't go back no. and watch a video and no. get thrust back into that time of course no, I haven't, dude. It's been a while since I just watched the video from beginning to end, an old archive video, what not about, a newer video. But what about Mouse? What was the last time you watched yeah. Mouse? Dumb long, dumb long. For for beginning to end, yeah, dumb long. I don't know, over fifteen years, really. Yeah, like where I yeah. actually watched yeah. it from beginning to end, like yeah. That that's a good question though, Gino. Is there is there a video that you've been in, whether it's like Twenty Shot or any of these trilogies, or is there anything that really stands out to you that you were like, okay, that was like really special. I really enjoyed that video part or that meant something or I really, I liked the way that I was skating in that. You know what I mean? Like some, I think a few of them, I, I think like snuff, of course, because oh. that was like kind of, you know, the intro to a lot of things, skateboarding in general, just being a professional and yeah. uh, starting to travel. And then there's like, you know, then the 
yeah, right, means a lot. It was like a weird time or interesting time. I moved back to New York after being in California for a long time. And didn't know, you know, at that time, not knowing how long skateboarding would last, mm -hmm. if it was going to be a lifelong thing, uh, if I was going to be involved, if I needed to move on. Like, it was just, yeah, a confusing time in yeah. that sense. So the video was, uh, yeah, right, was pure just like, after being involved, it, after skateboarding for so long, and then, you know, spending a good amount of years in California, making a couple of videos and doing the pro thing, mm -hmm. and then feeling like that was getting a little stale, even at that young age still, only like 28, I guess, at, the, at that time. Hmm. Um, and then, like, getting back into it for, like, awesome reasons, like meeting up with old friends that I got reunited with and then becoming close with them again and, and going out filming like for fun but then it turning into like a serious thing so that was a great time uh like all that night footage i mean i never really skated at night uh and that, i was skating a lot at night and that goes to show like just how kind of slight that was on skating at that time yeah so yeah so like they all mean a lot um you yeah. know probably show g2 i felt like that was probably my favorite video as far as being like on point with with skating and you know, feeling good about my skating. Great wow. video. So yeah, those wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just being a part of videos like that, you know, it's not only like yeah. you and the skating, but it's just being a part of that video means a lot. You know, like for me, it's like being a part of hot chocolate and being a part of these videos. It's like, cool. I could have had maybe like, yeah, right. Like just had a little, little things in there, but man, I was a part of that. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck, yeah. that's insane. You know, there's always regret and all that shit with like wishing I was more in the moment during those moments, during those times, and sure. not wanting to like leave tours all the time and all that shit. But then that goes back to me and my uh, the uncomfortability and like the uh, anxiety and that kind of thing. That's an uh, interesting thing that's happened to. But but yeah, I mean, looking back, just to be a part of it is is, is awesome. For sure, it's um, so special. The same. And now you're uh, you're you're on FA now. Like that's how does that feel? It's it's cool. It's cool. Um, because they, it's like you know, uh, it's with Jason, and that's like kind of where things started, yeah. and um, and it's just been great to like support that brand and them support me at this point in my life, and just continue to support and. You know, and then the fact that I just respect all those guys and the skating and and I'm attracted to that skating mm. and what they're doing. So mm -hmm. it's cool. Yeah, they are yeah. doing rad stuff. And um, Jason Dill's the sure. man. You know, we always talk about yeah, him on the show, but definitely. Big fan. Yeah, and, and Big fan. Yeah. My man for life, even if he never sleeps, he's always going to be, you know, like a younger brother. You know what I mean? Regardless if I never speak to him. So. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that we were talking about the world clips over here and you and Jason Dill were there, you know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. this full circle yeah. type of thing. Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah. Anything else going on we need to talk about? Anything? I mean, with poets, do we have uh, anything on the horizon that we should be aware of? Yeah, we got a part two to the uh, to the JS Poets collaboration mm -hmm. with Pat Moore and Barnes. So that's going to be dropping on March 11th. Nice. And uh, it's Jimmy's version of the uh, the sport, it's like the uh, I think it's the P five hundred, and um, but yeah, that's on the eleventh. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. That looks great. Sick. Um, that's that's kind of like the it's kind of it for now. Okay. Least, uh, yeah. Yeah. We have a new drop that's going to be coming, like hitting the stores, like in uh, April, mid April, um, but. But yeah, the shoe's a, a good one to look out for pretty soon. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 We'll have to we'll have to get a box. Yeah, <laughs> hit up Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get a box, man. Man, I'm super stoked for you, bro. Like seems like you're that that poet's just hitting its stride right now and everything, dude. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think it's rad. The only thing I'm missing. A couple of Geno clips. <laughs> a couple of Geno clips on the Instagram, man. <laughs> Yeah, maybe one day, you know, now that the weather is getting better, maybe I'll get out there and, and you know, do a couple of back whips or something. Ooh, there you, go. you know that I'm going to hear that from Kelly as soon as you post that. He's going to come in here, dude, uh, dude, <laughs> dude, did you see the Gino clip, bro? Dude. I gotta love it, man. Hey, uh, well, you guys keep skating as well because, you know, you do the same for me. When I see the clips popping up, I'm like, Jesus 
<laughs> we appreciate that, man. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. by the way, you know, I, I know the world's crazy right now, but do you have any plans in the future? Uh, stupid question, maybe. Uh, come out here, you know? Come out to L.A., dude. Kick it. You know, I don't have any plans of coming out there, but I would love to, you know? Also, you, were, you were out here not that long ago, though, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I was out there a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Do you miss yeah. L.A. at all? I enjoy visiting, definitely, you yeah. know, especially because there's so many people yeah. to, like, you know, see and catch up with. It's like, it's a, it's a shame when so much time goes by and there's such important people in my life, like, that you spend so much, you know, like we were just talking about, yeah. having history with. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and California is, I don't know, it's like things change as you get older. I used to not miss California. And now, I'm, you know, I, uh, I enjoy stepping in for a little bit and, you know, um, for sure. Just, there's so much like there's a big chunk of my life that they think, you know, um, memories and, and places. And, uh, so it's always it's, it's become enjoyable. Like when I do go back, stop by Uncle Polly's Deli yeah, you right? know, and see Bouchon. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to say thank you for doing this because you said, you said Seriously. like this is you don't like doing this stuff, but it's really a pleasure to do with like talk with you. And yeah, yeah, dude. this is great. You killed it, and I, I appreciate we appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm stoked you're able to you're able to catch up with us. Yeah, thank you, John. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, guys. I mean, and again, it's not like uh, I don't like doing these things on some dick shit. Like, <laughs> like, 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 it's, like I mentioned, like oh god, like you know the nervous stuff, like a little bit uncomfortable. I just that's just how it is naturally. So, yeah, but I'm glad I'm still glad to be uh, hit up and asked to do it. Hey, and yeah. you know what? If you are in LA, you know, come back anytime, you know, and kick it with us in person when all this stuff is, is calmed down and we'll go skate yeah, the curbs yeah. and catch I up. That. Yeah, that. I'm not a big fan of the FaceTiming and Zoom and everything. It is what it is at the moment. Yeah. And I love catching up with people and going over their video parts. But man, if you, uh, we, we, you got to come back and sit in the chair and yeah. kick yeah. it with us and have a, just yeah. have a, have a nice chat. Yeah, I'll do that, man. Yeah. I'll be seeing you guys out there. Well, listen, Gino. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And thank you. Bro, always, man. And it, uh, Listen, yeah. I, I see on the horizon maybe a, uh, you know, Poets Nine Club type thing going on. Huh? <laughs> what do we got, what okay. we got going on okay. here? Yeah, yeah, no, just think about that yeah, for a little while. Think about it. Let that marinate. Let that marinate. Yeah, we're going to put it in the ear real right. quick, you know? Straight up. Man. Let's conversate. Let's conversate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, big fan of yeah. what you're doing over there. Big, Definitely, big bro. fan. Dude. Keep Thank doing you. what you're doing for Thank real. You. Same yeah. here. Same here. Appreciate that, yeah, Gino. Shit over there. Uh, Man. I got to get you guys some stuff, so we'll, 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 we'll be in touch. Okay, oh, man. dude, and we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll yeah. return the favor. Was it Brendan? Is it is that your, one of your guys you work uh, working with, Brendan? Yes, yeah. I bought some stuff yeah. off the website before, and I was just super hyped on it. I, I think I wore it a few times in the show. Thank um, you, Kelly. Yeah, no, no, yeah. but dude, go everyone, go check out Gino's the uh, Poets website. It's an epic. It's good clothes. Is it poets.com? Oh, yeah. What is it? Yeah, poetsbrand.com. Poetsbrand.com. Poets brand. Awesome. Dude, good, yeah. good quality. Dope, oh, dope, amazing. dope designs, uh, great stuff. Dude. Amazing stuff. And great doors that you're in, bro. You're definitely like in the, the right doors. That's for damn sure. Yeah, we're getting there. We're yeah. getting there. Love it, bro. Got some good help from some uh, good people, too. Leading us in the right direction. So. So Use those resources, yeah. Gino. Use yes. those resources. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm blessed to be able to even like hit up for like advice instead of being down that road. So it's like, it's, it's great. Exactly, bro. A lot of people, a lot of people love you, bro. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you know, take not say take advantage oh, of you know the the position you're in, but dude, you have these resources yeah. that you can just lean on. It's all these different people that can kind of lead you to where you want to go. You know? Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling to know that. Oh, so, you know, you can do that. So. Totally. Yeah. I always hear Jerron talking about that. He's on the phone. He's like, "Well, I got resources, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the resources you need, man." Like, <laughs> yeah. Like my, and dude, if you need anything, yeah, dude, lean on us for Please. anything, bro. Real shit. Yes. Hell yeah. Hey, thank you so oh. much again, Gino. You're the man. Yeah. Love you, bro. And uh, dude, I hope to catch up Love with you Gino. again soon. Right on, okay. Gino, man. Thank you, Gino. Thank you, Gino. Thank you, Gerard, Kelly, Raj. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, buddy. Gino Iannucci, everybody, huh?